Wait, hey, we're well aware that here in the United States we have a good number of people who are abundantly gifted, or as one of my friends said, there's nothing wrong with his weight, he's just height challenged. Well, that takes us to this week's case. Involves a real gal, Deborah Marks. Deborah Marks worked in New York. She worked for a firm that was involved in reselling telephone services. And she worked there as a telemarketer. And she was going along pretty well in her career. Now, Deborah was not the world's most petite gal. She weighed 270 pounds. She was doing very well as a telemarketer and had received an award for Telemarketer of the Year. However, she was repeatedly passed over for promotions. And finally, she said, I've had enough of this. And when another gal was promoted instead of her, she said, I'm out of here. And she quit. She left. Then she brought suit. She brought suit under Title VII of the U.S. federal law and said, I've been discriminated against. I've been discriminated against because I've seen other guys there, in the place I'm working as telemarketers, who are heavy set, who are overweight. They got to keep their jobs. Of course, I got to keep my job, but I wasn't promoted. They got to be promoted. I didn't get to be promoted. And I have been discriminated against for two reasons. One, because I'm female, and two, because I do have a few extra pounds. Well, the case went forward. Case went forward. Whereas in federal court, went forward on a motion for summary judgment. And there, on a motion for summary judgment, the judge takes the evidence that is uncontroverted. He takes evidence, and if there are no genuine issues of fact, the judge decides the case. And in this instance, he needed to look at the facts. Now, this is all paper motion. There's nobody who shows up and testifies, and everything's done by affidavit or declarations. And in this instance, Deborah made her argument. And she made her argument saying, hey, I've been discriminated against. There are all these other guys who are heavy set. They get promoted. I don't get promoted. I'm being discriminated against. On the other side, the company argued not enough evidence. We don't see any evidence of this. She is contending that we have a bunch of heavyweight guys there that are being promoted while she's not, and that there's a double standard, one for females, one for males. But there is really no evidence of that. We don't have any tallies of the weights of these guys. And she was also arguing that uh, petite and thin gals get to be promoted. Well, she isn't indicating any true evidence of that. And accordingly, since there is no evidence, we suggest that her case be thrown out. Okay. The judge had to consider both these arguments. Judge considered both of these arguments and came away saying, guess what? I find for the employer. I find for the employer. And I find for the employer because there hasn't been sufficient evidence here of actual discrimination. We don't have real evidence of guys being overweight and being promoted. Now, we do have Deborah's evidence in the form of an affidavit in which she states that there were a number of overweight guys who were there. We have evidence from other people who are saying some of the guys appear to be overweight, but how overweight, we don't know. Um, we don't have a sufficient amount of evidence really demonstrating that she was discriminated against because of her weight and guys were able to go forward, be promoted, even though they had the same amount of weight and had the same amount of body comporture. Okay, so what do we learn from this case? What do we learn from this case? What we learn is a very important thing, and that is if you're going to go forward on a case, you need to have compelling evidence. In this instance, Deborah's real issue was the fact that she didn't have sufficient evidence in terms of numbers of males, specific identity of individuals, indicating the amount of weight, photographs, or anything else that would demonstrate that they, the guys who were being promoted, basically looked pretty much the way she looked in terms of carrying weight, but they were being promoted and she wasn't being promoted. You can't go forward on a case without compelling evidence. Okay, we bring you this case as we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.